Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again and welcome to another episode of FIFA 15 Demoing. This time we're looking at Paris Saint-Germain. We're playing against Manchester City. Again, obviously on professional, on an easier difficulty setting so that we can perhaps create a few more chances and give you guys a good impression of how PSG play, etc. You guys really seem to enjoy the game against, or with Dortmund rather, on, uh, yes, was it yesterday or Wednesday? It was Wednesday, wasn't it? You guys really seem to enjoy the game Wednesday with Dortmund, so hopefully you will enjoy this one as well. If you do, of course, feel free to leave it a like rating. There was a video earlier on today as well. Another one in the FIFA 15 Potential Stars series, which is going down very well indeed. Check that out if you missed it as well. And as always, this video is basically going to be a live com of me playing with PSG. Of course, last time we used Dortmund, we'll work our way throughout all of the, uh, the different teams on the demo. There are eight in total. Leave me suggestions in the comment section for which team you'd like me to use for tomorrow's episode. Of course, this is coming to you in the Ultimate Team slash other slot on the schedule, which will be in the description and on the About tab of the channel page. That will be the uh, the schedule we use for the entirety of FIFA 15 as well. So make sure you are well brushed up on your Tesnoy Gaming schedule knowledge. By the time we get to FIFA 15, hopefully you'll be able to uh, to settle into the routine that I'm trying to uh, to upkeep like we have been for the previous few months. But yeah, we'll. we'll uh, try and showcase PSG today. I've started uh, Verratti and Matuidi alongside uh, Johan Kabay in a 4-3-3 in the midfield. It defaults to have Thiago Motta in that midfield slot, but I've decided to use. Oh, I've given the ball away. I decided to use. Uh, I decided to use uh, Verratti instead because he's one of the uh, the upcoming youngsters that's supposed to be quite good. I may even look at him in the potential star series, although he uh, he's probably a little bit too well known already to be a kind of hidden gem type player. But it's not really a hidden gem type series, I guess. But I'm not. I think that's a bit too harsh to, to give a foul there. To be completely honest, ref. But never mind. Of course, with the full release, there will be. Um, Barclays Premier League referees on the game as well. I'm not sure whether they've got, uh, you know, they had their head scanned, etc. But there will be, um, you know, Barclays Premier League referees from the, the genuine BPL. So you'll recognise referees' names like Chris Foy and Michael Oliver, etc. Which is an extra nice little touch. Of course, we'll try and create as much as we can against City here. I just, uh, to decide what my opponent is for each game, I'm just randomising three times and then picking that side. It's so, so come about that uh, Man City were the side that it gave me this time around. I don't want Lovetsy taking the corner. We'll put, uh, where are we? Johan Kabay has got the best delivery, I think, in the side. We'll whip it in and we'll try and go up. Oh, it's spilled by the goalkeeper. Drops on the edge of the box to Maxwell, unfortunately. But Verratti can have a ping. Well, blocked by the defender. Oh, that could have gone absolutely anywhere. Flies wide of the post, thanks to the block from Sammy Nash. Well, you see the nice little cutscene there with Zabaleta pleased and congratulating his, uh, his teammate. I do like that. Also, I do like these set-piece tactics. Obviously, before, you used to have to make your own. But they do have some default ones here. So let's use run near post. Actually, I don't think I selected that quick enough. I did run near post. There we go. We've got some extra plays in there. See the sprinting towards the near post. It wasn't the best of crosses in the end. Goalkeeper's come and got it, but I do like that as an added feature. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to utilise that a little bit more either later on in this series or at least when the full release comes out once I can uh, you know, figure out where to place the ball from corners, etc. As you can see, the pitch is starting to wear already. I'll try and play this through to Cavani if I can. I can't. Now... The team we played against with Dortmund, I can't remember who we played against with Dortmund the other day. That's a good save by the goalkeeper, Sirigu, just batting that down. That's a new animation, not seen that one before. Ibra just about gets that away, bit of a dodgy tackle, but Yaya Torre shows good strength and good feet to get away from me. I've seen a lot of people scoring some really good long shots with Yaya Torre so far. In the, in the demo. When we play a city, whenever you guys suggest that we should play a city, I perhaps will try some uh, some really nice long shots. And Ibra, unfortunately for EA and their PR department, Ibra on the demo is five star skills, whereas actually in the full release he won't be, he'll only be four. And there was a bit of uproar about that, obviously, between the uh, the skiller community. Levetsi, they're having a good turn inside, well blocked by the defender. I've kind of overrun that with David Luiz a little bit. Can we get back? It's only four minute halves on the uh, on the demo. I'm not sure how much I'll actually show you, although I think I've just kind of waffled on for the majority of this game so far. I'll give that a crack with Kabai. High and wide. Half an hour in, still nil-nil. Try and out crowd Yaya Toro if I can. Oh, that's a nice little burst of acceleration there. You see him just... Oh, that should be a penalty. And is. I can't believe that. It was a good burst of pace from Yaya Torre to get around the first defender. 
And then I just caught him. I think it must have been Thiago Silva if it's showing it. Yes. Unfortunately, Kolarov is in the way, so we can't see the challenge. Or maybe just see the aftermath of it there. Will it show us another angle? No, it's not going to. Manchester City get a penalty then. That was a really clumsy challenge for me. I'm actually struggling when it comes to defending on this demo. Hopefully, uh, it will be a little bit smoother for uh, for the full release. Aguero steps up for the pen. I'm going to go that way. I uh, told the keeper to dive. He didn't. Sergio Aguero puts the ball into the back of the net and it's 1-0 Man City. You saw the net move there. If you watch, uh, go back and watch it or perhaps we'll wait for a replay. Uh, you see the back of the goal net will actually move and kick up. Oh, it's a full team celebration. They're going nuts. They're really enjoying that one, aren't they? You'll see the um, all of the... Oh, I don't know whether you'll see it from that angle. Watch the, the back of the net, the side of the net. That might show it. You can't quite see it there. You see it from here. Watch the back of the net at the bottom. It'll jump up when the uh, when the ball goes into the net. It's a nice little addition. You've got moving corner flags, and you see the net just jump up there. Moving goal nets, and the post and bar will wobble as well. A couple of nice visual touches for uh, for this new FIFA. Although there are, like we've said previously, minimal changes to uh, to the actual. Uh, you know, layout of career mode, etc. levetsi has gone on a nice run here. I'll try a finesse shot across goal. Good save by Joe Hart. Won't quite drop for Ibra. Oh, that's a cheeky little finish. Goes over the top of the bar. I thought he was going to go for an overhead kick there. He didn't. He kept his feet on the ground and just tried to cheekily knock it back over his head. Goes over the bar, but that was a very naughty little effort from Zlatan. Yeah. Not sure how close to half-time we are. In fact, we are right on the stroke of it. So we're going at half-time 1-0 down couple of decent chances for us, actually. I'm not really too fussed about results in these games. It's more about just showcasing what the game looks like and how it feels to play, etc. And maybe having a look at some of the new animations. Of course, you can see the movement of the kits there as well. Uh, not that many alterations in how it moves. It seems to be exactly the same uh, for each of the two. You know, when your arm swings one way and your arm swings the other. It seems to be only two variations in how the kit looks. But it's nice to at least have a variation in how, how the kit looks in the first place, isn't it? So I guess we can't... We can't grumble too much. I guess further developments in technology will happen throughout the next few years for things like that to improve. Uh, I'll actually, you see Serge Aurier is actually a right mid on uh, on the demo. I will put him on at right back though. We've got team of the season right back of course on FIFA 14. We'll go into the second half and hopefully both of our substitutions can have an impact. Here's Verratti picking up on the loose ball. Wait for a runner and then we'll try a little dink through ball. Johan Kabay in behind. Great first time shot but he's drilled it wide. Really good chance at the start of the second half. Really well found by Verratti. Cheeky little ball through. And he, oh, he's, I snatched it too early. That may be my fault. Took the shot too quickly. And unfortunately dragged it wide of that far post. Change for City. Stevan Jovetic coming on for Edin Zeko. Just under half an hour left. Still 1-0 down. At Johan Kabay effort was the closest we've come all game really I think. Other than that Zlatan uh, cheeky effort in the first half. Now Jovetic does have great feet. He's been downgraded for uh, FIFA 14 from an 84 to an 83, which is unsurprising. Didn't actually play that much football last year. Get a goal kick there. But I do like the way Jovetic plays. We had him in the uh, Road to Redemption series. Of course, you'll remember, played very well for us in that camp position. Scored quite a few goals as well. Hopefully he doesn't score any goals for City here. Zlatan's header is a little bit wayward. Here's Sergio Aguero. One thing I have noticed is my centre-backs regardless of what team I play with, always seem to be out of position, although Thiago Silva's got back in position there to get the ball away. Right, let's break, shall we? I'll try and play the ball over the top for Lovetsy to run on to. Company's done well to knock it down, and City regain possession. Oh, but given it as far as Ibra, I'll try a finesse shot. That was terrible. That was a woeful effort. Sorry, Zlatan. I should have just hit that with my laces. Ten minutes ago, they've just put on Jesus Navas for Samir Nasri. I don't think I'm going to make any more changes before the game is out. We should be able to get ourselves back in it so long as I'm a little bit careful with how I create chances. That was a really nice turn there from Lucas Mauro. We'll get the ball into Ibra if we can. Well cleared by the defenders. Now can we get it back off them? Tweedy chasing Jovetic. Aguero does have great feet and he's turned me quite nicely there. The one thing that strikes me on this demo is the attackers seem to be able to turn tremendously well and the defenders turn very slowly. Hopefully that's addressed for the full game because I found myself reading what the man's going to do and then not actually being able to, uh, to get the ball off him because my defensive player just doesn't turn as and when I've told him to. So fingers crossed that's addressed for the full release. I presume that it will be. It was less of a problem on the beta so... And that is a more recent build, so it should be 
okay for the full release. This is, of course, a really early build. Should point point that out here for the demo. It was uh, created quite a few weeks ago now. I think it's the same demo that was at um, Gamescom in Germany a full month ago. But that's going to bring the end to this game then. Unfortunately, a defeat, but we had a few good chances in that one. Pleased with how we uh, we did with PSG. Obviously, playing Man City is going to be difficult. Did have quite a few different chances in that one. We'll have a quick look at the stats. Eight shots, four on target. Not as much possession, though. And that has, something, has been something I've noticed when I've been recording these demo or just playing the demo generally. On FIFA 14, I'm able to keep possession quite nicely. On FIFA 15, so far on the demo, I haven't been able to. On the beta I was, on this older build, I'm not quite so uh, good at maintaining possession. Hopefully for the full release, I'll be better. And hopefully for the next game on Monday, I'll be better. Leave some suggestions in the comments section for who you would like me to look at next. And of course, I will do so in due course. There was an episode, like we say, of Potential Stars earlier on today. And there was a My Player episode last night, the Europa League final, no less, from... Uh, from Man United against AC Milan so check that out on the channel page if you missed it drop this video a like if you enjoyed and I will see you next time